Hi friends, welcome to WizBusters. I'm Emma and today I'm going to show you how to use the SUMIF function with examples in Google Sheets and Excel. Firstly, I will explain to you about the SUMIF function, then look at examples with numbers. Thirdly, using SUMIF function on texts, then on dates, then with checkboxes. The SUMIF function is used to add up numbers or cells in a range based on a single criterion. The cells in which the criterion can be applied are numbers, text, and dates. When it comes to the criterion, it can be created by using logical operators such as greater than, less than, not equal to, equal to, and wildcards or partial matching. The sum if function returns the sum of the values specified, that is, the number which is the result from calculating the sum of the cells based on the criterion. To use this function, we need to tell Google Sheets or Excel three things. One, the criteria range, that is, the range which is tested against the criterion. Two, the criterion such as less than or greater than. And three, the sum range, which is the range we need to sum up the totals for. In Google Sheets, you will see sum if, range, criterion, sum range, while in Excel, you'll see sum if, range, criteria, sum range. So let's dive into examples to see what I mean. Before we begin, to stay updated with new videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified of the latest videos out. In this table, we have a list of countries with their population. The table on the right shows five different objectives we need to get. The first one is to find the sum of the population of all countries with a population less than 5 million. We can use the sum if function by typing equal sum if. Recall the first parameter is the range which is tested against the criterion. Since the population is being tested in this criterion, we choose the range B2 to B15. We can lock this range. Our second parameter is the criterion, which is less than 5 million. So we type the criterion. So we put quotation marks, less than 5 million, close quotation. The third parameter is the range that needs to be summed. And that is the population B2 to B15. Well, let's put the range B2 to B15. Press enter. We got 9,834,000. Let's check the, for the accuracy of this. Let's just do the sum function. And we sum everything that is less than 5 million. So it's those. And we did get 9,334,000. So that matches. Here, I want to call out that since the third parameter sum range is the same as the criteria range of our first parameter, we can omit the third parameter. Let's remove the third parameter and press enter. And notice we continue to get the same answer. This example in the second row asks, find the sum of the population of all countries with a population greater than 14 million. We type in sum if. The first parameter is the criteria range, and that is B2 to B15. The second parameter is the criteria, which is greater than 14 million. So we type in, open quotation, greater than 14 million, close quotation. And we omit the third parameter because the criteria range is the sum range. We press enter. We get 75,554,000. If we test this, equal sum, Everything greater than 14 million is equal to these three, and we do get the same result. The example in the third row looks at sum if not equal. We want to find the sum of the population of all countries with a population that is not equal to 71,000. To do this, we can type in equal sum if, and recall the first parameter is the criteria range, which is B2 to B15. The second parameter is the criterion, and the criterion is not equal to 71,000. So we type it in like this. That's the not equal to sign there, 71,000. Close quotation, we omit the third parameter because the sum range is the same as the criteria range. Press enter, we get 124,169,000. So if we do a quick test, equal, and we sum everything that's not 71,000. 
we also get the same answer. The fourth row shows an example where we want to find the sum of the population of all countries that has a population between 8 million and 10 million. Now I've put this here because since this contains more than one criteria, we cannot use the sumif function. The functions that we can use in this case are sumifs or dsum. And you can see the link in the description below for videos on these functions. Let's look at the text tab for examples with texts. In the first row, the objective is to find the sum of the population of all countries beginning with n. So if we type in equals sum if, the first parameter is the range which is tested against the criterion. Since the countries are being tested in this criterion, we should choose the range A2 to A15. The second parameter is the criterion, and that is the countries that begin with N. And the way we write this is we put open quotation, N, asterisk, close quotation. This asterisk is a wild card, and this is how we write beginning with N. Our third parameter is the range that needs to be sum, and the range that needs to be sum is the population range. So we select the range B2 to B15, press enter. We got 9,998,000. So if we do a test and we sum up the countries, which are Norway and New Zealand, we also get the same answer. The second row is asking us to find the sum of the population of all countries ending with E. Type in equal sum if, open parenthesis, the first parameter is the range that is being tested, the criterion range, and it's the countries. So we choose the countries, A2 to A15. What is the criteria? Ending with E. So the way we do this is that we put the asterisk before and we put E, close quotation. The third parameter is the range that needs to be summed, and that is the population, so we choose B2 to B15. We close the parenthesis, press enter, we got 20,515,000. We can check the accuracy by summing these ourselves. The countries that end in E are Zimbabwe, Singapore, Suriname. 20,515,000. There we go. In our third row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries containing land. We can use the sumif function equals sumif, open parenthesis, and the criterion range is the country that's being tested. So it's Canada. We make this an absolute reference. What is the criteria? The criterion is countries containing land. So we put an asterisk before, L-A-N-D, an asterisk after, and close the quotation. The third parameter is the range that's being summed, and that's the population range. That's B2 to B15. Absolute reference, close parenthesis, and we got 13,221,000. Let's do a check. What are the countries that end in land? Switzerland, New Zealand, and we've got Cayman Island. There we go, 13,221,000. The fourth row is asking, what is the sum of the population of all countries containing six characters? So countries that contain six characters only, we type in equal sum if. The first parameter is the criteria range, which is the country that is being tested. So we choose the country, A2 to A15. How do we write the criteria containing six characters? Open quotation, one, two, three, four, five, six. We put question marks, close it. And the third parameter is the sum range. So we choose B2 to B15, close parenthesis. 51,933,000. If we check this equals sum, we've got Canada that has six characters, Sweden, Norway, and there we go, we've got that answer. Let's take a look at the dates tab for examples with dates. In this table, we have a column with dates. The first row in this table is to find the sum of the population of all countries for the dates before April 1st, 2017. So if we use the sumif function equals sumif, 
the first parameter is the criterion range and the range tested is the date range. So we choose A2 to A15, we make this an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, which is the dates before April 1st, 2017. So to do this, we type in open quotation, less than, and we put 2017 forward slash 04 forward slash 01, close the quotation. The third parameter is the sum range, the range that needs to be summed, and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15 in this case. Close the parenthesis we got 26,639,000. Let's do a test. Everything before April 1st, 2017. This is sorted. So April 1st, we've got the same answer. In the second row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries for the dates after September 1st. We do equal sum if. Our first parameter is the criteria range, the range that is being tested, and that is the date range. So we choose A2 to A15 and make it an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, and we are asking after September 1st, 2017. So to do this, we type in quotation greater than 2017 -0901. The third parameter is the range that needs to be summed, and that is the population C2 to C15. Close parenthesis. We got 10,057,000. Let's do a quick check. Everything after September 1st. September 1st, that be this. That matches. In the third row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries on the 13th of March, 2017. So we use the SUMIF function equals SUMIF. The first parameter is the criterion range or the range that's being tested by our criteria, and that is the date range. So this is A2 to A15. We make it an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, and that is equal to March 13. 2017. So we can type that in as equal 2017 0313. The third parameter is the range that's being summed and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15. Close the parenthesis, press enter. We've got 14,308,000. Let's test this equal to sum everything on March 13th. That's these two here we've got the same answer. In our fourth row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries not on the 13th of March, 2017. So we can use the sum if function, we type in equal sum if, the first parameter is the criterion range, the range that's being tested, and that is the date range. So we type in A2 to A15. Our second parameter is the criterion and that is not equal to May 1st, 2017. So let's type in, open quotation, not equal to 2017 0501, close quotation. The third parameter is the sum range, the range that's being summed, and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15, close parenthesis. We've got 121,076,000. Let's do a quick check. Sum of everything that's not me first. And we got the same answer. The final example is about checkboxes. In this table, we have a column with checkboxes. The countries which have a ticked checkbox are those whose populations have been verified, while the countries without a ticked checkbox indicate that they have not been verified. In the first row, we want to find the population of countries which have been verified. So we use the SUMIF function, equal SUMIF, open parenthesis, and the first parameter is the range that's being tested or the criteria range. And that is the checkbox range. So the checkbox range is in B2 to B15. So we choose that range. What is a criterion? 
while the criterion is countries which are verified. To do this, we type in equal true, because if it's checked, it will be equal to true. If it is not checked, it will be equal to false. The third parameter is the sum range, the range that needs to be summed, and that's the population. So we choose C2 to C15. Close the parenthesis. We've got 60,917,000. Let's do a quick test, equals sum, everything that's been checked. There we go, we've got the correct answer. What if we wanna do row two, which is countries which are not verified? Well, we can use the sum if function, equals sum if, open parenthesis, the first parameter is the criterion range, and that is the range that's being tested by the criterion that is verified or not, or checked or not, so we use the checkbox. We choose B2 to B15. What is the criteria? countries which are not verified. So in this case, it will be equal to false. That is, it's unchecked. And the third parameter is the sum range. That is the range that needs to be summed. We want to sum up the population. So we choose C2 to C15. We've got 63,323,000. So let's do a quick test. If we had to do this, we choose these and notice we've got the same answer. That's it for the summit functions everyone. Thank you for watching this video and hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.